What's up guys, Brennan here, back with another video. Today we're gonna to be learning a beautiful piano song that is highly requested from the Amelie soundtrack. I'm not even gonna to attempt to try and pronounce this name, but I will put it in the title. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton as a creator here on YouTube. And then it also helps you guys out because then you don't miss out on any of my future piano tutorials, piano covers, and original music. And with that, let's get right into the video. All right, so before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and play the arrangement that you'll be learning in today's video. So the left hand luckily stays the exact same throughout the entire song. Uh, so it's a little bit of a pattern. I'm going to go ahead and teach you the entire left hand. So starting with your pinky here on E, thumb here on B, and point your finger on G. So you do the bottom one, top one, middle, top. Repeat. Bottom, top, middle, top. Now you switch to D and you keep the other two the same. Bottom, top, middle, top, repeat. Bottom, top, middle, top. So you, then you move your middle one down to F sharp and you keep these two the same. So that's D, B, F sharp, B, repeat. D, B, F sharp, B. And lastly, you move just your thumb down to A and you keep the other two the same. That's D, A, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, A. So all together we have the first one. So it's
down to D. Now the middle one. Move your thumb. Start all over. talking it would sound like this so for the pedal for this you start by pressing down the pedal and whenever you move a finger to the next one is when you lift and push back down on the pedal so for the purposes of teaching you the pedal I'm gonna say lift and that means that you lift and push back down at that part. So it's gonna be like this. Push down at the beginning. Lift. 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 And that continues throughout the entire song. It doesn't change at all. Now we're going to get into the entire right hand melody and then we're going to put both hands together. So in the right hand, first you play G, F sharp, G, B, C, B. So that's. Okay. Then you go F sharp, G, F sharp. Then you go G, A, G. So that's so let's put both together first one starting on G next one starting on F sharp okay then we go F sharp E F sharp and then we go B C B so that's And then you just do these two again and you hold it. So all together, first one, next one starting here, third one, then just these two again. Full speed it would sound like this. Then that entire thing repeats. So each time the last key that you're playing, you kind of hold it out. So one more time, let's go over that. So it's two whole times total. Then we go E, B, D, B, F sharp, B, F sharp, A. Without me talking. So then we go pinky on G and thumb on B and you play these at the same time. And then you move down to third finger on E and thumb on G. So that's, then you go back to this one and instead of playing G and E, you move your third finger down to D. So that's G and D. So all together it's. Then you go 
thumb on B and fourth finger on F sharp. And then you go thumb on F sharp and third finger on D. So that's. Then you move your thumb down to A and you play that with F sharp. And then you do this one again. So it's a little tricky. I'm gonna play the whole section without me talking. Here we go. Okay, at this point we get to probably the hardest part of the entire song where your right hand is doing this pattern. this pattern is starting first you have your thumb on B, pointer finger on E, and pinky on B. And you go from the bottom to the top four times. So it's so that's one, two, three, four, and then you go thumb on B, pointer finger on E, thumb on C, Point your finger on E. So that's one more time. Okay, so now we're gonna put both of those together. This one four times. Okay, then we move just our pointer finger down to D, and we do that four times. Then you go B, D, A, D. So that's one, two, three, four, B, D, A, D. So without me talking. Then we move our thumb down to F sharp, point your finger on B, and P on F sharp. And we do this one four times. And then you go. So that's F sharp, B, G, B. I know we're going over a lot, but this is kind of the easiest way to teach this. So then the last one that you do, so your thumb goes to A, pointer finger on D, and pinky on A. You need to do this one four times. And then you go A, D, G, D. And then the whole thing starts over. So let's go over this again. First one. Next one. Third one. Last one. So all together it would be like this. And then it starts over. Just to go over this one more time, so we have this one four times. Then you go. So you have to play that kind of quick, just like we learned. Then you go to the next one. Next one. Last one. Start over. 
next one. Next one. Last one. Now this is gonna take a bit of practice. I had to practice it for a bit until I could kind of do it automatically. Um, but my best tip would be after you do each one the four times, you immediately go into that little um, part between the next one. So think of it as like that little quick part kind of connects to the next four parts. So it's like, next one, next one, last one. So see how it kind of connects the whole thing to where it sounds like it's on a full loop. So then at this point, the song repeats everything that you've learned so far. The only difference is that instead of repeating it like we learned down here, you actually bring it up higher on the piano, but the keys are exactly the same as what we just learned. That is, the, I will say that's a good thing about this song is it does kind of, there's a lot of repetition. It's just played in a slightly different way. So this, this time it's higher up on the piano. So right after you do this loop, this twice right then you immediately go into playing it higher up on the piano so that's the immediate next thing you do so just like we learned down here it's Exactly the same. Repeat. Next part. Now we get to the loop, but we play it high up. And then at this point it actually ends and you just play thumb on E, pointer finger on G, third finger on B. And you go. So you kind of like roll it from the bottom to the top. That is the entire right hand for the whole song. So keep in mind that along with this tutorial, you will also have to put in that practice time and try and put both hands together slowly before moving on to the next part. All right, so now we get into both hands together. So first you play the left hand loop once without any right hand. So it's like this. Now we come in in the right hand. So the G, so you start in the right hand when you're hitting this key in the left hand. So it's. Now switch. at the same time that you're also hitting the B. So let's go over that again. First section. Switch. Switch. So right there, when I'm hitting the B again in the left hand is when I play that next part. Now we get to the last part. A good way to kind of remind yourself of, oh, when do I come in in the right hand is whenever you're hitting this B key. 
during each part. Let's do that again. I'm gonna try and slow it down a little bit more. Here we go. So you do the E at the beginning with this one. Now when you do that one is when you do the next key. So it's this one together. This one. You do it the same for this next part. These two at the same time. This one. Same thing for the next one, these two at the same time. Same thing for the next part, these two at the same time. Same time. So to go over that again, we have this one. should sound like this. So now you do this part in the right hand right as you hit the beginning key starting over on that loop, the beginning key E. So you go do this one at the same time. Next one, switch. Now we do the next part, same time, switch. Next one, switch. without me talking and you can just watch me do it nice and slowly. tricky part where we do this right hand loop. So I'm going to try and play it as slow as possible, but my tip for you is just know that the left hand does not alter at all. So you kind of have it on autopilot, so to speak. So you practice that left hand enough to where you don't really have to think about it. And you need to do that because then when you put the right hand together, your attention can kind of be more on the right hand than your autopilot left hand but we're gonna just try and uh, slow it down and hopefully you guys will be able to put both hands together for this part. I know it's a lot of keys, but just know that that left hand part does not change. So we're really just like putting the two together. So here we go, I'm gonna play it nice and slow. Now, remember how we move in the right hand? Every time we move in the right hand, we need to be ready to move in the left hand. So that's a way to tell that you're on the right timing. So now I'm going to move, okay, now I need to move to the left hand. So now it's like this. It's 
So let's try that again, nice and slow. First one. together is the same as the earlier part. The only difference you're doing is playing it higher on the piano. So then it goes to this. finger in G, thumb on B, E, G, B. And you kind of roll from the bottom to the top. All right, guys, and that is it. That is the entire song. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely just a friendly reminder to get that practice in, and then you'll eventually be able to play this song fully, smoothly, ready to go. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to create art and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.